Yeah. Right. What have we got this time? So, hello between the shoulder blades. So we're going to look at the SCM. So technique number one, we've already done the R2 test, so we know if the rotation extension is going to cause an issue with the eye flicking and, and obviously the patient feeling a bit stiff and stuff. Okay, we, you know, we do have a bit of bind towards that left rotation. Right, Carol, can you just hold your neck in that position there? Mm -hmm. Ready? You just hold your weight. So my patient is going to hold the head. Okay, look, no hands. So the SCM on the right is contracting for the 10 seconds, so they're doing the work. You okay? Mm -hmm. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath. And as she breathes out, I'm going to lower her down onto the second pillow. That in itself is going to nicely lengthen. Depends how tight it is. You might feel quite a nice lengthening coming through at the SEM there. Yep. Okay. From that position, as long as it's comfortable for them, their hand, especially for ladies, yeah, on top of the sternum area, what we can do from this position is literally place your hand on top of their hand, take a breath in, but resist the breath as in I'm resisting them pushing up when I breathe. And as she relaxes and takes a breath in to go out, yeah, when you're ready, I'm pushing down her sternum to encourage fascial stretching of that SEM. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they find you don't feel much of a stretch, you can place your hand a little bit further so you can push down, think about the sternum mastoid muscle onto the um, manubrium, onto the um, sternal body the fascia comes down through, so we want to try to almost like lock in and lengthen through that. Okay, so once more, take a breath in. And as she breathes out, my hand pushes down. Medically, is known as cordally, cordad, which is the corda equina. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends how tight it is. will depend on what they feel. And then you can do that three or four times. To get the scalenes, you tend to place the hand the thumb over the clavicular fossa in that position there. Then depending on the neck position, if you have full rotation of the neck, which we're almost there, that's going to work for posterior fibers of the scalenes. Okay, so no difference, take a breath in, because the ribs are lifted by the scalenes. And as she breathes out, I'm going to push more cordially, but laterally, okay? So I'm going to push more that way there. You okay there? You feel it? So it's pushing down and out. If I want mid fibers of the scalenes, half rotation, and repeat the same thing. If I want anterior fibers of the scalenes, no rotation, and repeat the same thing. Yeah, from our position, okay there? Mm -hmm. Relax your arm. Mm -hmm. So that'll be treatment of the SCM and the different fibers of the scalenes.